This video is our presentation at CalDive International. It's a New York Stock Exchange listed company trading our ticker DVR. It's an interesting chart. You can see it's basically had about six straight up days, trying to bounce off a bottom down here at $1.26. But I see it coming back upon this pretty tough channel right here, as it looks like the RSI is trying to shift into bull mode. So I want to pay attention to this chart and see if it's going to have enough gas behind it to blow through this resistance right around $1.50, because it's a pretty nice upside if that happens. See with the green days. MACD dropping a bullish cross, histogram bars popping back through zero. I'll be looking for this MACD to try and break through this trend line. See it stayed pretty solid on a downward path throughout almost all of 2012, but it is finally starting to make some higher lows. So I'll be looking for this overall trend shift to happen and for this MACD to finally push its way back through zero. Making a second classic PPO ADX pinch. It's what we always talk about looking for. After the first pinch, look for a second one with the PPO ascending. That's usually a pretty good indication of a bottom in a chart. Money flow index, all three components start to twist upward, coming upon that critical area of trying to move through and hold above 50. I also see that the accumulation distribution is finally starting to make some higher lows. Again, it's a positive sign of some buying. That's reiterated by the shake in money flow. That's holding in the green, same for the last 20 periods. Buys have been outweighing sells. CCI is on a nice upward path. Bottom feeders always use that area right there, that break a negative 100 as a buy point. Although technically the official buy signal is not dropped, until the CCI breaks through 100. But bottom feeder is trying to catch the full breadth of a move. We'll use negative 100 as buy and sell points. Full stow just now starting to curl out of oversold territory. Still early on, but a little bit of momentum is being generated in this stock, judging by the move in the full stow. And the tricks, along the lines of the MACD, it's a gauge of trend. Still early on, but it looks like it's trying to develop some sort of an upward path, really for the first time in 2012. As I mentioned, the RSIs moving towards 50, trying to go into a bullish position. That, of course, does not happen until all three components that I use are holding and trending over top of 50. What I'd look for in this chart is, of course, a bottom support down there at $1.26 that inevitably would have to hold. But what caught my eye about this is a resistance point right there around $1.50. See, it hit $1.48 yesterday. There's nice liquidity in the stock, 1.4 million shares traded. And I'd like to see volume pick up, take out that resistance point. Classic TA, that old support level that it broke through is now resistance. And if it can make a move through that, I think it's going to definitely meet a little bit of dynamic resistance at the 50-day. It's always a tough moving average for the price per share to move through. But I see things becoming much more stiff from a resistance standpoint, right up around $1.90. Going back historically, this is a one-year chart. See, it was a support level. It definitely served as resistance over the last few months. I don't know what caused this big drop. Of course, it's just a tactical look at it. I didn't do any due diligence on the fundamentals of CalDive. But I think it's pretty clear that there's a resistance point at $1.90. And that's a spot I'll be looking for if this resistance around $1.50 can be broken. Beyond that, I'd be looking up near the 200-day moving average. I think it's going to pick a little bit of resistance up around $2.26. But I would think resistance is going to become stronger up around $2.80. Of course, that's down the road. I'm staying near-term focused. Stock's obviously gathering a little bit of momentum off this bottom. And I'll be keeping an eye on the rest of this week and going forward to see if the momentum is going to sustain itself. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the DVR chart. But as always, merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching and trade smart.